The cell cycle describes a sequence of coordinated and highly regulated events that a cell goes through to grow and divide. The cycle is often represented as a pie chart, which represents the relative amount of time that a cell spends in each phase. The majority of time is spent in interphase. During interphase, a cell is growing and preparing for division. Interphase takes place in three regulated stages, G1, S, and G2. G1 is a period of growth. Important cell structures and proteins are formed. In G1, there is an important cell checkpoint that asks, do we need to divide? Are we going to commit to cell division? Depending on the function of the cell, or certain environmental cues like cell crowding, it may not be appropriate to divide. In this case, the cell will exit the cell cycle and enter a phase known as G0, a non-dividing state. In G0, a cell is generally just doing a job. If cell division does become necessary, the cell can re-enter the cycle from G0. So from the G1 checkpoint, if a cell passes and is not sent to G0, it moves on to S phase and is irreversibly committed to preparing for cell division. It's now do or die literally. Failure to prepare for cell division from this point generally results in apoptosis. S phase is where DNA is replicated. Don't forget that interphase is all about preparing for cell division. This step is critical. S phase is followed by G2, another period of growth. But most importantly, G2 has a checkpoint to see that the DNA was replicated properly. If a cell does not repair replication errors, it is not fit for cell division. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, may be initiated. Sometimes, DNA replication errors do get past the G2 checkpoint, which can lead to conditions like cancer. G2 is the end of interphase, or preparation for cell division. If the checkpoint is passed, the cell moves on to M phase. M phase consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. Mitosis describes the stages that a cell goes through to separate the replicated DNA into two identical sets of chromosomes to be given to two identical daughter cells. A final checkpoint occurs during mitosis to see that replicated chromosomes are properly separating. Non-disjunction describes a failure of separation between replicated chromosomes. Finally, cytokinesis is the splitting of the cytoplasm that results in two separated identical cells. So how exactly does the cell progress through the phases of the cycle? Experiments from the 1970s fused cells together that were in different phases. Cells in G1 that were fused with cells in S phase immediately began DNA replication. Cells in G1 that were fused with cells in M phase immediately began to perform mitosis. This led to the hypothesis that specific signaling molecules in the cytoplasm must be present for the events of each phase to occur. We now know that the cell cycle is largely regulated by a class of molecules called cyclins. Cyclins are proteins that bind to and activate other molecules called cyclin-dependent kinases, or CDKs. Kinases, like CDK, are proteins that can activate or deactivate other proteins by phosphorylation. This includes key enzymes and transcription factors that enable events of the cell cycle, like growth and DNA replication. But once again, the activity of these kinases is dependent on the presence of cyclin. CDKs are always present in the cytoplasm, but are only active when cyclin is present. The phases of the cell cycle are each regulated by a specific type of cyclin molecule, which activates specific CDKs, which promotes specific cellular events. The timing and concentration of cyclin is essential for proper regulation of the cell cycle. Overexpression of cyclin has been identified in tumor cells in certain types of cancer, 